go to the no limit. I used to want a 300Z with a phone in it. I'm global and roam with it, feeling at home with it. Money come, money go, ain't no control in it. Push. Yeah. All I ever wanted was to never end up broke. Here's Lloyd. Thompson, high post. Pierce down low. Defended by Mullen. The shot by Pierce, no good. Tries the spin move. Mullen dishes to Jordan. This is it to Robbins. And that one drops for him. Even though he's a rookie, this team looks to Robinson to make big shots, and he doesn't disappoint. Here's Lloyd. Here's Pierce. Got a piece of it. Outside Mullen. Over McDaniel. No good on that one. Clippers leading by three. Here's Lloyd. He kicks it to Pierce. Jordan against Drex. Lock at six. Back to Pierce. Thompson for the triple. And it's Harper with the rebound. Harper's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Jordan the pass to Mullen. to the inside. Kicks it out to Jordan. Right side, Harper. He feeds it to Grant. Jordan, the pass to Robinson. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. Goes back up. And it's good on the way up. Robinson's got 10 points in just the second half. You don't necessarily think of Robinson as a power player at this stage, but he can get it done. And the Clippers call time here. They're in front by one. There's 154 left in the fourth quarter. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Aldis. David. Thank you, guys. Billy Cunningham had some words for his team during the break. Now, with this game up for grabs, Coach told his guys to think positive. He said, we know this game is ours, fellas. We've earned it. I need you to show me right now that you want this. Can they get it done? We'll see. Guys. Thank you, David. And although he's undersized, he makes up for it with incredible vertical. You love to see him put his athleticism to great use. Robinson on the wing. That falls. Nice feed that time from Harper. Harper's got assist number seven for him tonight. And so it's Matthews with it. Bringing it up now for the Clippers. Pass to Ruin. Over Robinson. And that one's good. Ruin. Well, they found the right matchup, and more importantly, they exploited it. Yeah, at the highest level, the game of basketball is about matchups. Identifying the weakest link and exploiting it. Now, here's Harper. Fades away. Robinson misses. He's a solid mid-range shooter, but just wasn't able to knock that one down. Drexler kicks to Matthews. 56 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Money! Knocks down that jumper easily over the taller defender. Not a high percentage look. Coach doesn't mind as long as you make it.
and so here's the home team. It's a five point game. Mullen dishes to Harper. We've got 33 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Robinson misses, and they go to the intentional foul. Michael fourth personal foul, fourth team foul. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one, and now they decide to foul intentionally. Right on the first, and that increases their lead to six. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a seven point game. Way to capitalize that charity stripe and extend the lead. Six seconds time out, time left out. here in the fourth quarter. Robinson passes to Harper. Puts up a three. Robinson. Good! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. He could be a problem on the boards. Robinson caps it off with the bucket. And so they foul intentionally. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. He's able to hit the second one, and that increases their lead to six. Guys, what do you think? Look, the game's not quite done yet, but they need points right away. Can't make one mistake here. Have to act fast. Seventeen seconds left in the fourth quarter. Robinson a screen on Matthews. Here's Harper. Rebounded by Livingston. And now we've got the intentional foul. Early into his night. But you know what? I don't know that they can come back no matter who's on the court. Never good to lose a player to fouls. But fortunately, he's not the only talent they have. They've got other guys that can fill his spot. He drops the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And the second free throw, no good. A tough break there. A 
deep three from Jordan. Basket good. So it's Los Angeles taking the W in a close one. And that concludes our coverage of Game 5 of the NBA Finals. For Mike Fratello. Con pico de nuevo, chica no te atreves.